Hi everyone, my name is Paulina and I decided to take on a challenge where I learned touch typing in three days and also I'll give you websites for training. About a year ago I learned how to do this using the Ukrainian keyboard layout, but this time I decided to learn on the English layout. First, let's understand what touch typing is, it also said as blind typing, and where you can use this skill. Touch typing is when you type on a computer keyboard without looking at the keys. Normally, you would look at the keyboard to ensure you press the correct letter. But as the internet writes, this can lead to posture problems. However, from my experience, it's a conventional tool in life. Firstly, you make fewer mistakes in words. And secondly, it speeds up your typing. Typically, touch typing is taught to programmers, although I believe it's useful for everyone. But what exactly is it? I think everyone has noticed on the keyboard on the letter F and J, there are bumps. Thanks to these bumps, you can easily position your fingers correctly. You can see them on the screen right now. Each finger is assigned specific letters. For example, for the left index finger, these are the letters F, R, V, T, G, and B. This way, after pressing a key, the finger returns in its initial position. I hope you all understand, and now I suggest you to watch how I was learning it for a few days. Today is my first day of my typing practice, and actually I thought that I, that I wouldn't need too much time to finish this challenge, and I think that it would be like three days, not more, but at, at the day of my training, I realized that I need five or even more days. Why? Uh, the first problem is that when I, when I push like one finger, I push another one. Like uh, I press with ring finger instead of my middle finger. And it's very often. The next problem is that you always have the same position of your fingers and it's hard to to keep this position because you like press one key and then you just go everywhere but not at exactly position. Another problem was that I always wanted to to watch at my keyboard and it's problem which I don't know how I'll improve the situation but but uh, but I realized that if I uh, wouldn't control this I wouldn't uh, learn I wouldn't learn how to how to type without uh, without vision and it's problem and I think that tomorrow I'll cover it with something my keyboard and I think that's all and it's actually very strange that I have problems because I had I had such experience with blind typing. Okay, today is the second day of my challenge, and I'm starting to hope that I'll able to finish all of this in three days, not at five. And also, I can say that my hands are getting used to to the keyboard, and now I find it easier to type. My mistakes have decreased, and my speed has increased. However, if you remember, on the previous day, I had a problem uh, with my eyes. I couldn't control myself to not watch uh, to the keyboard. But today, uh, actually, on the beginning of my training, I improved the situation. But then I realized that the keyboard is on, uh, is on the screen. And then I just uh, removed the prompt. And I don't know what happened, but it was worse than it was yesterday. I just n not couldn't control myself. Even if I control myself, my eyes just... And I couldn't uh, do anything. But uh, in the end of my lesson, I started manage with it. But I can't say that I managed with it at all. And also, today I tried all of the websites, which... Uh, I chose to to try to prompt and from tomorrow I'll I'll be using only only two sites or even 
uh, which is the best, I'll tell you in the end of the video. And also I want to share with you a funny thing, that when I type without thinking, everything is okay. Less mistakes, um, but I faster. But if you start to think about the letter which you need to press, everything just broke, you made a lot of mistakes. And actually, conclusion is not think what to press. Like, don't, don't think in what are you doing. Just, uh, just look at the letter on the, your on your screen and type it, and and don't think about it. On the third day of my challenge, I realized what needed to be done to learn touch typing, and now I'll tell you about it. First of all, don't jump straight into difficult tasks. Usually, I started with lessons of medium difficulty, but that's not correct. It's better to work on each A letter or finger separately. There is a website for this purpose. You can see its interface on the screen now, and the link will be in the description. I'll talk more about training websites later. You should also include what you shouldn't type without studying the keyboard, and which finger corresponds to each key. You should at least understand which sides it's on. At first, it will be difficult, but with each pacing day, it will get better and better. Secondly, if you decided to practice for 30 or 40 minutes every day like I did, remove the keyboard from the screen on the second day of your studying. The third rule is discipline. Try to train as often as possible. In the text I'm speaking now was written in 5 minutes using touch typing. You may ask why I finished everything on the third day. Because I saw how it became easier for me every day. And I know that in a week I'll be typing very fast. And it's not interesting for me to record everything. Just uh, it's not interesting for you to watch. Now let's talk about websites. I divided them into three groups. The first group is for beginners. If you need lessons specifically for English typing and want to learn only this language, then these sites are for you. I'm not saying the lessons there are bad. On the contrary, they have good lessons, but unfortunately, they focus only on one language and may lack additional features like those in the next group. The second group consists of advanced websites where you can learn typing different languages, both programming languages and conservational ones. You can hide the keyboard, and these sites offer exercises, lessons, speed typing tests, and even games. The last group includes the sites that don't offer much functionality. Here you simply type the same text, so I don't recommend them at all. You can find all the websites in the description. And that's all for this video. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, and see you in the next videos.